Hello, gorgeous explorers. Welcome back to another fun-filled learning journey with Morale. Today, we're setting sail on a fascinating adventure that takes us into the world of chemical and physical changes. This trip is going to be full of exciting discoveries, so make sure to subscribe to join us on more fun and educational voyages. Are you ready to dive into the world of changes? Here we go. So, what exactly are chemical changes? Well, imagine you're lighting a candle or watching a nail rust over time. These are classic examples of chemical changes. They are fascinating events where one or more substances are transformed into different substances. Now, how can you tell if a chemical change has occurred? Look out for signs such as bubbles appearing, color transformations, or even shifts in temperature. These are all indicators that something new has formed. For example, when you light a candle, the heat of the flame causes the wax to melt and vaporize, reacting with the oxygen in the air. This creates new substances, carbon dioxide and water vapor. It's important to note that chemical changes often create new substances that we can't easily change back. It's usually a one-way journey. Think of it like baking a cake. Once you've baked it, you can't get your original ingredients back. So, remember, chemical changes mean new substances are formed and it's often a one-way journey. Now, let's shift gears and talk about physical changes. Physical changes are a bit different from chemical changes. Imagine you have a piece of paper. If you cut it into a fun shape or crumple it up, you're making a physical change. The paper is still paper, right? Or think about dissolving sugar in your hot cocoa. The sugar seems to disappear, but if you taste it, you know it's still there. These are all examples of physical changes. The key thing about physical changes is that they can usually be reversed. You can uncrumple the paper or let the sugar evaporate out of the cocoa. Another interesting point is that physical changes often involve changes in states of matter. That's when something goes from being a solid to a liquid or a liquid to a gas or vice versa. So, physical changes don't create new substances and can usually be undone. Cool, right? Let's take a closer look at how matter can change states. Have you ever watched ice melt into water or seen water boil into steam? These are examples of phase changes. The ice melts, going from a solid to a liquid. When water boils, it changes from a liquid to a gas. And if you cool that steam down, it turns back into liquid water. So you see, physical changes like these allow matter to shift between states. Isn't it amazing to see how matter can change from one state to another? Now, let's see how these changes play out in our everyday lives. Imagine starting your day with a simple morning routine. You wake up, brush your teeth, pour some cereal into a bowl and add milk. Did you know that you've just witnessed both chemical and physical changes in action? Let's break it down. When you brush your teeth, the toothpaste reacts with the plaque on your teeth, causing a chemical change. This reaction alters the substances involved, creating a new one, a clean, healthy tooth. Now think about the cereal. When you pour the milk into the bowl, the cereal doesn't change into something new. It gets soggy, sure, but it's still cereal just in a different state. This is a physical change. The cereal hasn't changed into a new substance, its state has just changed from crunchy to soggy. And here's another fun example. When you spread butter on a hot toast, it melts. That's a physical change too. The butter changes from a solid to a liquid, but it's still butter. So, as you can see, our everyday lives are filled with both chemical and physical changes. From the moment we wake up to the time we go to bed, these changes are happening all around us. And that's the beauty of science. It's everywhere. See, we experience these changes every day, often without even noticing. Well, that was a whirlwind tour of chemical and physical changes. Remember how we learned that chemical changes create new, often irreversible substances, like what when a candle burns? And physical changes, like crumpling a paper, are usually reversible and can even involve changes in states of matter. These amazing transformations are happening all around us every day. So stay curious, keep observing, and never stop learning. 
Remember to keep exploring, and I can't wait to see you next time for more fun learning adventures with Morel.